How you doing? It's Brian with Good Dog Workshop, and this is my trusty assistant, Red. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to roughhouse with your dog. What's an appropriate level to do it, and uh, and the benefits of it. Um, a lot of people have asked me this question: Should I roughhouse with my dog? What's too rough? Is he allowed to put his teeth on me? A lot of that is personal preference, but uh, it, for the most part, it is important to roughhouse with your dog to be physical with him because they are physical with each other. So he needs to know that we speak dog, that we can be physical with him as well. So Red's, <laughs> Red's already here looking for, for affection. He likes being physical, and I know that he's sensitive on his feet, and I'll get him going. So I can grab his feet, and you see his teeth going at me trying to reach my hands already. And I'm fine with that. If you're, if you're not comfortable with the dog's teeth on your hands, then put some gloves on and do this, because it's important that he knows that his teeth can never change your mind. Because otherwise, he may think, ah, I have the upper hand. I can use my teeth to control my person. So I'm going to get him riled up a bit, spin him around, get him more excited, add some more energy to this, and really get him going. And you can move move your head down. It's not that you're, you're lower than him on the... Uh, on the scale, you're just trying to trying to speak dog and incite him to play. And I like getting my head, I like getting my head down in here, and really showing him that I'm not bothered by him, by him by him being rough and physical. And then when I want to stop, I change my energy, bring myself to a halt, and then he knows we're not playing, and I'm not responding to him if he thinks we're still going to try. So thanks for listening. I appreciate you watching. Take care.